Okay, here we go. Now in Dialogflow, let's make sure that you're, in this account, we only have one agent. So you can see it's just Janice Test. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Bot Copy. I'm gonna log in with that same email that I use with Dialogflow. And boom. Now, if you're creating a new account from scratch, you're gonna to have to add a bot and then click into here. Now, new accounts will go directly into your connect page. So go ahead and select from the agent that you wanna connect the bot to above. Type in your, e your website. And boom, everything populates. Now, this is the snippet that you're gonna to use to embed the bot onto your website later. But for this video, we're gonna focus on this live chat integration here. So, we're gonna need the Janus API key and the Janus client key. So let's go ahead and go over to Janus. Now, in Janus, you're gonna to wanna to sign in. It's gonna be up top here. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with Google and boom. Okay, so I've already created an account here before so you can see our conversation history, but most main accounts will start from here. Now let's go ahead and go over to the account page. It's gonna be at the top right. Um, and add a new bot. Now I have already done this and connected Janice, but um, go ahead and name the bot whatever you like and make sure that you select bot copy as the bot builder slash framework. Now then connect the agent. Again, we only have one on this dialogue flow, but if we had more, all of our agents would populate here. Let's go ahead and connect this Janice test. Now take this API key that you get from here, copy it and paste it in to here, oops, didn't copy, that would be helpful. Boom, and then do the same for your client key. Bam. All right, once you've got that locked and loaded, you'll actually be ready for um, be live and ready for you to use Janice's inbox. Now, so if you see here, this is where your conversations will come in in Janice. Um, if you don't have Slack, this is a great interface for you to kind of jump into the conversations as they populate. So, but for this video, let's show you how to add it to Slack. So in Slack, you're gonna go down to this app section, you're gonna add apps, and then you're gonna search for Janus. And I've already added it here, but it'll say install. So go ahead and do that. And once it's installed, let's put it in the channel that you wanna pick up some of your customer service on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Janus here. Okay, I'm gonna invite them. Now, once Janus is part of this channel, we're gonna go, go at Janus, and we're gonna type in filter, boom. Okay, now once we've selected filter, we're gonna go ahead and click the bot that we wanna connect. Again, there's only one on this account, so it's relatively easy. Now once it's connected, go back up to this reply, and this is where you're gonna see how to enable all your notifications. Now me, I like to see everything that comes in. Uh, for others, you might wanna set the, enable the messages for default messages or um, intense that you want to recognize but go ahead and set up here I've gone ahead and enabled everything now to test this we're gonna to go to the branding page and this is where you can change around all the colors but you can see there is a demo bot here uh, now this hasn't been trained on dialogue flow at all um, so it's not going to recognize anything but let's go ahead and type in something here okay now you'll see in slack that that message populated and we're gonna join this. So this is me uh, talking to me, and I'm gonna go ahead and do slash pause. So this means I'm gonna, I wanna pause uh, the bot and pick up as live chat, boom. Okay, now over here, you'll see that this says, you're now chatting with, and this is the name of my Slack. Um, so yours is probably gonna be your name. So anybody in your Slack team can jump in. They're also gonna to be told that you're jumping in up here and their image from Slack is gonna take over here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, hi, how can I help? Boom, and that is going to populate there. Now, 
So you can continue chatting with you. Um, and then when you're done, all you're gonna do is slash resume. Oh, this is on. We're just gonna hit resume. That was on the inbox. You can see it comes in on Janice here as well. Um, but just hit resume and then you'll see the bot picks back up, says the conversation is now over with whoever picked up on your Slack channel and you're talking with the bot. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at hello at botcoffee.com or you can reach me personally at dust at botcoffee.com. Enjoy.